What's going on, everybody? Mr. Gustin back in the physics classroom. I've got a video here on linearization. So I've gone ahead and in the iPad already put the data in for uh, problem number one on our practicing for linearization. So the data is up here. I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use graphical and then how to linearize it as well. So right now I've got x variables and y variables. It's called data set one. It graphs x and y. My, my points are plotted. But I can make this a little fancier. If I go ahead and click the three buttons next to x on my iPad and go to column options, what I can actually do is change the name from X to uh, time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to put the units of time, which is seconds. Okay? So now when I hit done, that goes from X to being time in seconds, and I can do the same for Y. Y is not actually Y. I mean, it's a Y value, but it's not Y. In our case, it's actually displacement, and we're measuring displacement in meters, if I can spell it right. Okay, so we'll do displacement, I'll put lower M for meters, and we'll be done. So now I'm even like a little fancier. My graph says displacement, my graph says time. When I look at it, it doesn't look linear. It clearly has like a concave up shape, it's not a line. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the lower uh, left button next to my, my uh, origin, and click uh, apply curve fit, and go to power function. And what power function does is it tells me what the data is doing. So when I look at my power function, it'll plot any kind of curve that fits my data. And my little readout right here tells me exactly how to read it. So the readout says y equals ax to the b. It's the relationship between y and x. So I read my b value. In this case, my b value is 2, which tells me that y is related to x to the power of 2, or x squared. That's the relationship here. This is a squared relationship. So in order for us to linearize this, in order for us to make a line out of our data, we have to go ahead and square my x values. Because whatever happens to y is happening to x squared, not x. So let's go ahead and square all of our time values. There are two ways to do this. Manually, I can just take 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared to make a new column. I can also go ahead and click those three dots next to time in my data table. When I do that, I'll click Add Calculated Column, and that will allow me then to calculate all of those, that, that whole column of data, however I want to. So for my uh, purpose, we had y equals ax to the b. ax to the b is the exact uh, calculation I want to put in, and b was 2, okay? It was squared. So I'm going to make my b value 2, and my x isn't time anymore. Um, it's actually going to be time squared. So I'm going to change the name at the very top. I'll go ahead and change that name to time, and then I'll put time sq, and my units are going to be s to the power of 2. So I'm going to go ahead and change my units. That way I'm keeping track of my units, keeping track of what I've done. Uh, once I type that in, it immediately graphs my time squared on my x-axis. So I'm going to get rid of that power function. Now my data looks linear. It's a line. So I can go ahead and apply a linear fit now to my data. And when I do that, I have my slope value, my y-intercept value. All of that stuff is there for me. So how do I interpret this data? The reason I use a line is because I'm really familiar with this equation, y equals mx plus b. I'm really familiar with that from math class. But my data isn't y variables and x variables and slope I have a number for, so I can actually replace these things. So instead of y, I'm going to put my y-axis variable there. And instead of x, I'll put my x-axis variable there. And instead of the m for slope, I can actually put my slope value in there. And I can put my y-intercept value in there as well. So let's replace these values with what I know. Instead of y, it was displacement. And for us, displacement, we can call it d for now, but we'll replace that eventually with x and y. So d is my y value. My slope was 5. The units are going to be my y units, meters, over my x units, seconds squared. So meters per second squared times my x variable which is time squared, not time. That's why it's important for us to name our variables in our data table because then it really helps us when we make the equation. And then whatever my y-intercept is, I have no y-intercept, so here's my equation. D equals five meters per second squared times time squared. We went from raw data, we calculated that data after we figured out what the relationship was, and then once we linearize it, we can go ahead and create a nice linear equation. From that data. Okay? 
If you got questions, refer to the How to Linearize Notes. Come see me in the classroom. Until then, see ya!